Today, the melt I'm going to do is going to involve several new purchases. First new purchase, which is not a new item, but I got an online auction, is this LP stand. Uh, I thought it was an actually a, a stand to elevate a LP tank, but I see that it has a burner under here, so that's really awesome. Because another new purchase is this uh, cast iron pot that has pour spouts on the side. So I can melt that over the flame on the tripod. I also got this little, I don't know, muffin tin or something for a buck fifty at a little thrift store. Um, this is what I'm going to melt. So you do some zinc on a low heat, pour it into some of these. So new item, new item, and new item. So that's going to be fun. I got these items in an online auction. I really did it just for these so I can grab bigger items and, and flip them, especially molds. But look at this mold. Based on the description, the person who uh, owned these was melting lead and this is a really big uh, mold here deep so I'm going to clean that out get the rust out of it as much as I can and then this will be an awesome one for aluminum anyway um, got this all-purpose brazing flux for bronze steel brass malleable iron so I already have some borax but figure what the heck and now I got this thing uh, and the reason why I'm mentioning it is if anybody knows what this is let me know uh, in the comments section because I absolutely have no clue obviously hold something and is adjustable but you know what the heck is that so yeah let me know all right let's turn this thing on and see if it even works hey all right sweet This is all the stuff. There's a lot more where that came from. like a bonfire in my garage. Alright, let's see how this does. Well, it's been about 10 minutes and I'm guessing that that's too far away from the flame. Um, I have nothing else to... Uh, put across there to lower the pot so I may have to uh, give it some encouragement Encouragement. Encouragement. Yeah. 
Now before I called this stuff um, zinc, and someone, uh, one of my subscribers corrected me and said it's something like Zamox. I think I'm saying that right. But uh, it's zinc and other metals. I'm trying to get enough in here so I can pour as many as I can. This thing's about to get some more encouragement, if you know what I'm saying. Now some of these items might be uh, aluminum. That one and this one is not really uh, melting that quick. I know I can melt aluminum with that big blow torch. Yeah, there's some pieces in there I'm going to pull out. It might just be straight up aluminum. Turn that off for a second because I'm burning myself. Help it along a little bit. Oh man, it's toasty in here now. See how this goes. Oh man, she's heavy. Woo.
this thing is wanting to spin on me. Yeah, it's all bubbly. They're getting bubbles on the top of them. What's that all about? Hmm. It's kind of cool I can pop them. Nice. This, uh, the coating that's on this pan is uh, giving me some problems. That's what it really reeks. It might be the gas that's escaping when I poke these. Boy, I gotta, I gotta air this garage out. It is nasty in here. Boy, these look like crap. All this sink. I don't recall seeing sink like that. Um, when I've done this stuff before, it's always been a really nice pour, so I'm wondering if this coating on this pan was some sort of chemical reaction or something. Yeah, very funky, very bubbly, pitted. That is not what I would expect from this material at all. These are garbage. Wow, it's so pitted. Those are just holes in there. Something. Wow. I, mean, I don't know if you could see that, but that is a deep hole. Let's see, like gas not escaping somehow. I mean, they didn't even fill out in there. These are horrendous. I'd be, I, I might remelt this and then uh, pour it into a graphite mold. See if I get better results, because I mean, it didn't fill out. In a lot of these areas here, really, really bad. Don't mind if I do. All right, I got these new molds, the uh, dragon, the skull with the lightning bolt on it, and then the uh, dog paw. <laughs> Perfect. Now that's how it's supposed to look. I think that mold uh, was a problem. Oh, that one's still hot. Dang, that one is too. Eee. I'd say one of these days I'm going to learn, but I'm probably not. I think I only have seven fingerprints left. Okay, we kind of have a, a night and day difference between the first ones I poured into that muffin pan, pan and what we got this last time in the graphite molds. They were beautiful. Just how they're supposed to look. So graphite molds are the way to go.
for this stuff anyway. I, I could remelt all this and I will because there's no way I'm going to have the stuff look like that. But these, these are sweet. 